Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Mahogany and honestly, I'm just a wife and a mom trying to get my life together before we get started with the new week. So in this video, we have a lot going on. Grocery shopping, prepping some produce, and getting the boys clothes ready for the week. So let's go ahead and get into this video. For me, I love to start my mornings with a hot shower. This clears my mental space and it honestly just wakes me up in the morning. Once I'm all done and out of the shower, I like to throw on some clothes. Y'all, throwing on clothes can really make a difference with how you feel and how you go on about your day. You know that saying, you look good, you feel good? That's truly how I feel when I get dressed in the morning. And honestly, I don't throw on much. I just throw on a hat, kind of add some curls to my hair, a shirt, and some leggings. And that's it. For breakfast this morning, we decided to eat out or have it delivered. Same difference. So we had Maple Street Biscuit Company. If you have never had Maple Street Biscuit Company, please give it a try if you have one local to you. They make the most amazing biscuits. I cannot even remember what this one is called, but just know it's chicken, bacon, and maple syrup. And it is so good and so filling. These are not baby <laughs> biscuits. They're definitely pretty big. So once breakfast is done, I am going to head out the door with my son and my husband. Well, my son, my sons, I have two, <laughs> and my husband. So we are going to my favorite grocery store of all time. I feel like they never miss at all. And that is Harris Teeter. And y'all see, I'm going with my list in hand. Once that's all done, you can't leave without Starbucks. I mean, come on. So grocery shopping is done and we're just checking that off the list. I'm gonna go ahead and unload everything with my husband and then I'm gonna get into showing you what it is that I picked up from the grocery store. Now that everything is out of the car, here's what I picked up from the grocery store. Y'all, we locked up today. They had everything that I needed. So starting down here on the end, here's what I picked up. Some pork sausage links as well as some pork sausage patties. Y'all, so quick, so easy. Throw them in the microwave or you can heat them in the pan. Whatever works. And these are bomb. My son is absolutely in love with these popsicles, so I have to keep these on hand. We love them too. And then I also picked up some sweet potato fries and their favorite chips. RJ loves the crunchy Cheetos and Rye loves the puffs. Perfect, right? So now we're moving on to the rest of the snacks. I picked up some Oreos and some popcorn, as well as some Jello cups. My husband loves these. Yes, he absolutely loves them. They're not just for kids. Who told y'all that? <laughs> just kidding. Moving on, I also picked up some whole milk. I don't like to get anything big because I'm the only person who drinks regular whole milk. I also picked up some buttermilk, and I also picked up some almond milk for the boys they are like obsessed with almond milk they won't drink anything else and it has to be almond breeze i also picked up some creamer we love the white chocolate mocha creamer by starbucks amazing i also picked up their vanilla um coffee and then my husband wanted bologna which was a little strange because we never buy bologna but I also picked up some bacon, some turkey, some ham, and some eggs. And then to the meat, for the meat, I picked up some chicken, some steak, some chicken wings, and some salmon, and some shrimp. <laughs> I love to get these fresh from the market. I, it just makes a difference to me. And then moving on, I also picked up some trail mix and some cream of chicken. Y'all. I feel like cream of chicken is a staple. You have to keep it in your pantry. Have to. So yeah, some trail mix. And then I also picked up some yogurt underneath. But my husband loves parfaits in the morning time. So that's the kind we get. It's really good if you want to try it. And then I also picked up some corn and some pancake mix. And then my husband picked up this variety box of snacks for his classroom. So he can have that with him. It's Cheez-Its, you know, Rice Krispie Treats, Pringles, the good stuff. And then I picked up some lettuce, some bananas, some pure vanilla extract, rice, and onion, and then some mac and cheese. My boys love mac and cheese. 
So I have to keep that on hand. And here's RJ begging for <laughs> a popsicle. And then I also picked up some watermelon and we have some fresh produce soaking in some water and vinegar. So now that that has been soaking for a little bit, we're gonna get into the next step, which is prepping our produce. Now, when it comes down to prepping produce, I feel like it's so essential for me to do this before my week gets started. It just makes everything flow so much easier. So because everything has already been washed and cleaned, all I have to do now is dry it and add it to a bowl and put it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to use it. So that's what I'm doing here. I have some zucchini, I have some cucumbers, I have a little bit of squash. I think I just bought one squash because we did not need too much of it this week. And I will say this, if you are um, that person who struggles with getting your food prepped for the week, it's probably because you go in the store without a plan. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Do you ever go in the grocery store, you have your mindset on what you might make, but you're not really sure. So you kind of just go in and you grab a little of this, a little of that, and you just hope that you have all that you need. Well... It never works let me just say it never works so I like to create an actual list y'all saw when I went into Harris Peter I had a list in my hand and that list was actually broken down from another list I like to plan out exactly what I'm gonna make for breakfast lunch and dinner it seems like it's a lot but I promise you it makes my week so much easier knowing what I'm having for breakfast Knowing what I'm having for lunch, knowing what I'm having for dinner definitely takes the stress off. How many days have you texted your spouse or your roommate or whoever, your child, and said, what do you want for dinner? And they say, I don't know. Yeah, it happens more often than not. So this eliminates all of that. So now I'm just prepping my fruit and I like to go ahead and take my grapes off of the vine. This makes it easy, so when I'm packing my husband's lunch, I can just toss it in a bowl. And yes, I love to line all of my bowls with paper towels because I feel like it helps to soak up some of that water. That way, no mold grows on my produce and we're fine. I also love to take my blueberries out of, another, out of the container that it comes in, simply because y'all, I wash it in the water and vinegar solution, so. That's just my own personal preference. You definitely don't have to do that. And now I'm getting into prepping these strawberries. I will say that a lot of these strawberries were pretty soft. And that was such a bummer because I like to open up my strawberry cartons before I buy them. And this one looked fine in the store. I don't know. I've been having the worst luck with strawberries lately. Seems like every package of strawberries I buy there's always something going on with it whether they be too ripe or um they are too unripe or they are just there's mold or something in the packaging I don't know what's been going on lately but hopefully we can get that part figured out but the rest of the produce was fine and beautiful um so we will be eating through these strawberries fairly quickly. Now that those are all prepped, we are going to move on to prepping one more fruit. I'm going to prep an orange for the week. Now, I did buy obviously more than one orange, but I like to have one prepped because RJ and Ryland will typically eat at least one every single day. So I start with one and then as they finish it up, I prep another one throughout the week. And this is, it seems like something that's so small, but I promise it makes the biggest difference. There's something about being able to just grab and go that makes a world of difference. And like I said, y'all saw me wash the produce, but <laughs> I did not take the stickers off. And some of these stickers were a hassle to get off. But yeah, it makes a world of a difference to just grab and go. So now that that's all done, I'm going to go ahead and put everything into the fridge so that everything can stay nice and cold. 
and then we're gonna move on to the final task of the day and let me just say this is probably one of my favorite things to do and I'll explain why it makes my life so much easier in just a second So this part of my Sunday reset routine is pretty new to my routine. These containers that you see me put in the clothes into were about 50 cents from Walmart. I'm not sure if they still have them. You can definitely check. However, I don't know if this will resonate with you, but do you remember back in the day when your mom would make you pick out your clothes for the entire week ahead of time? So that way you were not running around on the morning of school looking for what you were going to wear to school and you didn't have nothing but you didn't want to tell your mom you didn't have nothing so you just kind of threw something together in hopes that you'd make it yeah well that made me think about doing it for my boys because me and my husband were just talking one day and um this was a conversation that we had and i said hmm i might just try that with the boys so i started picking out their clothes for the entire week and let me tell you it's made a world of a difference we typically, typically go to the parks early in the morning or we'll walk around outside first thing in the morning. And this has helped increase my time so much. We do not need to spend too much time looking for anything. And it helps because I don't have to worry about them getting in the way, being up under me, having to kind of grab and go. And so now that all the clothes are in the containers, I also go in with a diaper and RJ is still potty training so he is in pull-ups so I just add one to each container so that they have them and this is what we do first thing in the morning change their diapers and throw on their clothes and this takes away so much unnecessary stress but that is it for my Sunday reset routine there was not much to this Sunday at all but because this video went by quickly, it didn't seem like a lot, but I promise there was a lot going on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. Bye, y'all.